Hey guys, how's it going? This is another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a thing called Firebug for Firefox. Um, it's kind of a tongue twister, but uh, it's a very good tool. A lot of web designers, a lot of uh, web developers use it. Um, if you're into Joomla and editing your template, this is actually a really good tool. And I'll go ahead and show you how to use this tool. If you open up Firefox, and then you can go to uh, mozilla.com, go to add-ons, type in uh, Firebug, F-I-R-E-B-U-G, just go ahead and download and install that. What it'll do is it'll put this little fire bug down here and it'll allow you to change the code of the of the page without um, affecting the actual page, of course. I'll show you how to use it with your um, Joomla template. So let's go ahead and close that. And what I've done is I've downloaded, this is my Joomla page, and I've downloaded the RT Afterburner. Um, it's a free uh, rocket theme. You go to rockettheme.com. There you go. If you go to rockettheme.com, go to Joomla, see all Joomla templates. And the trick is you got to go all the way to the bottom and they have some free templates. Now, I'm a member of this site, so I have uh, access to all the templates. But even if you're not a member, you can get these um, free ones down here, which are really nice. Um, Afterburner is actually a very fast template. So um, it's fast, it's optimized, and all that good stuff. So. Go ahead and download that if you want to try this at home. I have it here on my desktop. I've already installed it. Here it is. And to install it, you would just go to extensions, install, uninstall, browse, click on it, and then install. I've already done that, so let's go to templates, extension templates. I'm going to make this my default template. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh my main page and there it is there is my template so let's say for some odd reason I wanted this left column to be skinnier and it's very hard to go through the code what I can do is I can grab this tool here so it allows you to click an element in the page to inspect and you can kinda of just hover around you see that it highlights different things and you can scope into the word and to the list and you can do all kinds of things. Um, you kind of have to get it right, but if you do get it right, you can actually click on the whole thing. And here's the HTML. You can go back to this div or this div, and it, and it shows you by highlighting. Um, but I think this is the one I want. Um, and you kind of go through all the CSS on this side. Hmm. So here on the left hand, I want the width to be, all you have to do is click in the box and press the down arrow. And there you can see my, uh, my column is actually shrinking. So I could say, okay, I want this column to be, you know, uh, 165 pixels. And then you can actually look at the page and see what it's doing without actually affecting your work. Now, if you you know you have to kind of play around with it to actually get this to scoot over as well and and all that good stuff, but you can actually see what your website's going to look like without doing that. So that's a really good tool. Same thing with colors. You want to change the color of this type of text? You come in here and like I said, you have to just play around with uh, which style element you have selected. See, I want that one. You can just scroll through here, and I don't see the color, so I probably have the wrong, wrong one. So let's go to. It's kind of hard to work in this small resolution, but um, I have a 24-inch monitor, so it works really well when I'm working with it, with a 24-inch monitor and a high resolution. So you can kind of just poke through here and we will try to get a color here. Hmm. 
here we go. So there's the color of the A attribute, so that's a, a link. And you go ahead and change the color by just clicking on this and choosing a color. Let's say uh, I wanted that green color. I also have the colorzilla, I think that's what this is called, and I can click on anywhere in the page and it gives me the color. So 7F, right here it says 7F8C51. I'm going to type that in here. 7F8C51. And so now my text is the same color as this uh, sidebar here. So you've actually made changes to your website without even actually making the changes. So if I hit refresh, these are actually going to go back to normal. But if you wanted to, you can actually go into your light4.css. And this, if you hover over it, it actually tells you exactly where the file is at. You can browse to that and actually make the changes and it tells you what line it's on even. So line 12, if I go into that uh, that file and actually, you know what, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go into my HTTP docs, go into my Joomla folder and I'm going to go into templates and it's under afterburner CSS. I'm going to open this up. So if we look at it, it's actually CSS light 4. Okay, so I'm going to go light 4. I'm going to open with uh, Coda. It'll take a little while to open up here. But there is my CSS. And I can almost guarantee you that on line 12, sure enough, it's going to be right there. line numbers, so line 12, sure enough, there's my A color, and I'm going to change it to that other color here, so 7F8C51, 7F8C51, oops, let's try that again, 7F8C51, save that file, come back in, hit refresh, and there we go, I've actually made the changes. And you can see a change there. So you can do that to any CSS. If I want this, uh, this logo to change um, to a different location, I can change the margins here and I can see it move in real time. You can see how that's a very nice tool to, to use. You can scoot it over to the edge, you can scoot it out. So you can actually change that and you go into your light4.css line 55. So let's go in there and there we go. There's the attributes that I was changing. But I'm not changing them live here. Fire, uh, Firebug is just a tool that you can use to see it on Firefox and then you hit refresh and it just goes back to normal and it changes your code here. So it's a great way to debug, to see changes in real time, all that good stuff. So download Firebug if you want to be able to change your HTML and CSS and if you ever, ever want to mess with your buddies you can go to google.com and you can tell them hey Google just uh, entered my name in here. So if you click on this Google search, you can actually edit the, the thing that it says here. So the value, let's go back into here. Instead of Google search, I wanted to say, I don't know, the cat in the hat. So there we go. Or you can type your name in here, John Doe. You can show your friends, you can come and just close this up and say, hey, check this out. <laughs> they have my name in here. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, Firebug for Firefox is a really good tool. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll keep making some more videos. Thanks, guys, and see you later.